This video is for Jamie, who is always interested in seeing interiors, and this is my new apartment in Beijing. Okay, so we just came through the front door here, and there's a nice little area off to the side where I can put my purse um, and a cabinet where I can put my shoes as well, some hooks for hanging things up. And this over here is one of the bedrooms. And I don't know what it is about this bedroom, but I just really, really like it. It's actually the bigger bedroom. This is a north facing bedroom. So it doesn't get as much light. Uh, but I don't know, there's just something about this room. I don't know if it's uh, the, the paint color but there's just something about this room that is a very comforting to me and I like it. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this room. Uh, I have a desk here which I bought from the previous tenant and I also have uh, some shelving which I bought from the previous tenant and uh, I also have some uh, goodies to drink as well. There's office supplies so I'm well suited uh, in terms of settling in, I think. Uh, I bought a bunch of stuff from the previous tenant, and she also gave me a lot of stuff as well. So I think this might be my happy room. And what I mean by that is maybe have, have it decorated with things that I like to look at. Maybe not things that I would use every day, but maybe uh, posters, it could be objects, sculptures, figurines, uh, handbags, whatever I like that makes me happy, that I like to look at, I think I might put it in here. I might make this my bedroom as well, I'm not sure about that yet, but this room makes me happy, so I'll have to think about that. So I am excited because this kitchen, which might seem small by American standards, is literally the biggest kitchen I've had since moving to China. So I have a double sink. My first apartment, I had to wash dishes in my bathroom sink, uh, which is kind of unhandy. And there's a storage space. There's a window, and I have gas burners, which I'm really excited about because cooking on electric, I just don't like. I've never been used to it. I've got some cabinets up here, and I have more counter space here, and also some compartments down here. So hopefully my apartment will look nice and neat for a change instead of having stuff just stacked and piled. I actually have storage space in this apartment. Uh, I have a nice oven so I can do some baking. I've done quite a bit of cooking at home, so I'm looking forward to having space to continue doing that. Really thrilled about the refrigerator. It's a full-size refrigerator. I had one in Guangzhou, which was my previous location. But it pooped out on me. I ended up getting food poisoning, and I said, uh, forget it. I, <clears throat> I'm going to go out and buy a refrigerator. It was during Spring Festival week, and I wasn't sure if my landlord was on vacation, but I didn't really care. I just went out to Walmart and got a very small refrigerator freezer, which served me well. I did not bother to bring that with me. I have... Metal storage racks. This is important to me because I've wanted these ever since I came to China in my first apartment in Xiamen. I cut off, cut off, cut off, put off buying these because it seemed like I was, uh, well, I was being a cheapskate. And the more stuff you have, the more it costs to move it. And if you don't move it, you have to sell it or throw it away and I got rid of a bunch of stuff in Xiamen and didn't really get any money for it at all and I took a loss on the e-bike that I had to sell. So obviously this is a couch with a very nice throw over it. This area here used to be a balcony. Balconies are pretty popular here. 
There's a washing machine off to the left. And normally this would be a balcony and I would be basically outside, but they enclosed it and there's a little utility sink here. And this is a view looking south from my apartment in Beijing. I'm very close to the school which is good. It's about a five minute walk away and I can cut through uh, the gardens uh, of uh, the apartment grounds in order to get there, which is very handy. So I've got some plants that I get to take care of, um, some boxes and some cleaning stuff over here. So decent sized living room dining area. It reminds me of my home back in Fort Wayne. The living room and the dining area were literally all one big room front to back and uh, this this wall here kind of reminds me of the setup of the living room uh, where the kitchen would be. That's where the, the dining area would be and then the kitchen at home would be um, off to the left and this would be a long hallway, um, but it isn't. So it's not quite like my house, but bathroom here, there's a new shower fixture that will be coming. Um, I have some personal hygiene items to get started with. I have towels as well, uh, nice size uh, vanity with sink and an enclosed bathroom shower. It's not uncommon in China for there to be no sectioning off of the shower. Literally, the whole bathroom would be the shower. But this is only the second apartment I've had where the actual shower is partitioned off which is fine, but it wasn't a, a deal breaker or anything like this. Uh, my second apartment in Xiamen was all, the bathroom was just one big shower stall, which made it very easy to clean because I had to set up like the shower faucet there with the shower being detachable and I could just basically spray down the entire bathroom, which made it handy. So here is the bedroom, obviously. And I don't know, it feels a bit claustrophobic, I guess. Uh, it's almost wall-to-wall -wall bed. Uh, gorgeous bed linens, as you can see. And I have a wardrobe, which means hopefully uh, I can have clean clothes in one side and then uh, put my dirty clothes on the other side so they're not out in the open. In my last apartment in Guangzhou, my... Clothes hamper was basically a spare box. It was so cheap, I did not want to spend any money on an actual hamper. So, this is my apartment. I'm looking forward to living here. It's the biggest apartment I've had, certainly the nicest. I wasn't planning on getting a two bedroom, but I made friends with some people who uh, had taught at the school who were now leaving, and one of them said, hey, do you want my colleague's apartment? And I said I would certainly consider it. I saw the pictures, and I said, yep, I'm sold. So hope you like this mini tour. See you later.